Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, uh, let's talk about this here because... I, I know that this is gonna this is gonna ruffle some feathers, but aren't you glad? Aren't you glad we now live in a dispensation where we can air our views? I can tell you how I feel without the fear of reprisal from these jokers. There was a time I couldn't say anything. There was a time because of my vantage point because of my locale you know that word locale because of my location Ooh, boy I'll tell you what any weep uh, any any peep any 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 whisper against the npf oh boy I'll tell you what it would attract so much backlash you wouldn't even have the ability the wherewithal the dexterity to, pick, to push against the tsunami of horror and hell that would come your way. You would catch hell like you wouldn't believe. But anyway, I'm going to use as a subject talking to you for a few moments. I won't be long, 15, 20 minutes max. Three reasons the NPF want ECL back. Now, as you know, NPF stands for the Notorious Patriotic Front. And when I say ECL, ECL is Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu. He's the sixth president of the Republic of Zambia. Let me begin by telling you the story of the boiling frog. This is a metaphor. In fact, it's called the boiling frog syndrome. And, and, and basically, the idea behind this metaphor is that, let's say, for example, you walk into the kitchen, you, you, you fill your pot with water, you place the pot on a stove, you turn the stove on, the water begins to boil, it comes to a boil. And then you take a frog, you toss it into the boiling water, naturally, the frog will jump out immediately. But something interesting happens when you, when you take the pot, you fill the pot with cold water, then you take the frog and place it into the cold water in the pot and then place it on the stove and the heat begins to gradually boil the water. The frog, the boiling frog syndrome says that frog will not jump out immediately. It will begin to adapt to its environment and then ultimately, unbeknownst to it, the frog will ultimately boil and it will die. What does all that mean? It means this. You see, the more we begin to talk about this issue of our, president, our former president Lungo coming back to active politics, the more we begin to lose sight of how detrimental that is the more you have all these npf members talking about the more you hear bowman lusambo going on national television or these independent internet stations and he sings the praises of former president lungo and he saw, he talks about how this is the only answer for zambia is that the former president to return and to come back to active politics the more you begin to hear that the more the electorate begins to to, to lose sight of the detrimental nature of that act nobody wants president lungo to return we don't want that the zambian people spoke and they spoke in unison so the boiling frog syndrome means people now are beginning to talk about this as if it's normal it's not normal there's nothing normal about it 
it's detrimental it's retrogressive it goes against the tenets of democracy it goes against the tenets of progression it goes against the tenets of development we don't want that what we want is to no pun intended are you ready for it go forward <laughs> that's what we want now uh, of course i know that that last word is a is a political phrase but the reality is the truth within that phrase still remains and still stands so let's let's go into the reasons three reasons why the npf the notorious patriotic front want former president lungo to return to active politics number one the Kadas want to return do you think i've been a black apple i've been a kalimanshi i was amused the other day i heard that innocent kalimanshi has gone the way of the cloth i've heard that innocent kalimanshi now has aligned himself with some pseudo wayward papa all of that is in an effort to camouflage the real nature of who he is it's all a smoke screen kalimanshi has no authentic relationship with 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 the divine he doesn't everything that he's doing is because he wants to camouflage and he wants to cover the true nature of who he is and what i mean by that is if perchance which is not possible it's not probable it's not feasible it's not practical let's say perchance ecl came back you think karimanshi would still stay with that papa karimanshi would come running back let us kill these european chaps i'm at your service isiel tell me who to maim tell me who to chop off tell me who to damage tell me who to beat i will do it at the drop of a hat so all of these machinations by innocent karimanshi when you hear him saying no if we don't matter much age total lies don't manipulate scripture by creating a smoke screen we know we see through you we know good and hell well what you're doing it's all a smoke screen so the number one reason the the, the notorious patriotic front wants ecl namely the former president president edgar chagualungu which is, it's not practical but the reason they want him is because the kadas want to return they miss their way of life they miss the horror the hell that they used to met out in different communities i will tell you as a personal testimony here in the city market lumumba road area we were inundated we were overrun we were subdued by kadas by pf kadas <laughs> it was total chaos the kadas i'll give you another example some of you may not know this that when the when the npf closed prime tv their next target was qfm qfm that qfm radio station the patriotic front wanted to take over it, they tried to conduct a, a hostile takeover of a privately owned station the pf went to qfm and the management of those nyama boys the, the nyama boys who literally built a station from nothing through their through the sweat of their brow through hard work and determination those young boys built a station and the npf looked at them with envy and they said we want this station we want to take over this station you're going to sell it 
next to nothing. You'll sell it for peanuts. And the big wigs, the top brass in the NPF, were going to acquire that radio station. Why? Because they had the power. That's the reason they want to come back, is they want to be able to do that sort of thing. That kada mentality, where they walk in to any institution and they threaten you. And when you complain and, 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 and indicate that you're going to go to the police, the NPF used to say to you, go to the police. I will even escort you to the police. The police will do nothing to you. I mean, nothing to us. That's where we were as a people. So the number one reason is they want the goddess to return. Number two. ECL hates that he lost to HH. Some of you don't know how mentally anguishing, how mentally tormenting it is for former President Lungu to wake up knowing that he lost to HH. A man that he literally put a line through his name instead of under it. A man who ECL determined that if he came back to power, he was going to finally put the nail in HH's coffin. Some of you don't know that had the NPF managed to rig the 2021 e elections, had they managed to manipulate the numbers, had they managed to manipulate the results, had they managed to, 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 to shut down the internet? Because everybody knows they tried to shut down the internet. They tried to muzzle the will of the people. They tried to camouflage the power of the internet. They tried, but they failed miserably. Some of you don't know that had they managed to manipulate the elections and had ECL returned illegally, to the seat of power. Do you know that today HH would be dead? Do you know that? But you think that's a joke? You think it's a joke? It amuses me when I see the NPF acting like angels now. No, to a little fianya, to red on Bob Wedero, when a china china, to a little, we now see the 40 of our ways. I heard by Emmanuel Mwamba the other day say, and, and Emmanuel Mwamba is someone I love and, and, and I appreciate, he's a dear friend of mine, I love him. But he said the other day, he said, um, uh, we, we, as, as, as BF, we've seen the way we went wrong and uh, we have amended our ways. The word of God says, can a leopard change its spots? Can a leopard change its spots? Absolutely not. Some of you don't realize how close HH came to dying. Le Lo. Had President Lungu managed with his team to manipulate the results Today, H.H. would be dead. He would be first rotting in a prison somewhere, and then they would have just cleared him. That's how it was. That was the plan. But oh, thank God. Thank God the Zambian people woke up and said, No, no, this is not the road that we want to be on. This is not the trajectory we want to be on. We want a different direction and this very same man that you say is anathema. This very same man that you say is a thorn in your flesh is the very man that we're going to put in power. The Zambian people spoke and they spoke in unison and they spoke loudly. And now 
You got people around ECL that whisper in his ear. All you got to do is just say you're coming back. And when we return, we'll get rid of this guy. That's the plan. It's got nothing to do with serving the nation. It has everything to do with a bruised political ego. Oh, that's good. God just dropped that in my heart. Let me say that again. It's got nothing to do with service. Anytime you hear the NPF talking about It's got nothing to do with service. What's the point of bringing a man back that has served twice? He's been elected twice. He's had the privilege of serving this nation in the capacity of president twice. He has served a number of years, seven years. What's the purpose of bringing him back? No other reason other than to stroke his political ego. So this whole thing has got nothing to do with service. It has everything to do with a political bruised ego. Finished. Nothing more. Number three. The reasons why the NPF want ECL to return. Number three, the NPF top brass wants to be shielded by ECL because they know that he is easily manipulated. Ha. But, uh, let me tell you the hustle of the, the NPF. This was the hustle. The hustle was that they had a president that they could easily manipulate. And they covered it in religion. They used words like humble. They used words like meek. They used words like humility. They used the national day of prayer. And yet, underneath it all, there was an insidious plot to run a criminal organization. That was the hustle. And if you don't recognize that hustle, then you're wayward. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how to read the room. You don't know how to decipher and to decode the writing on the wall. You don't. And this is the main reason they want him back is because they know that if President Lungu were to return, which he can't, let's be honest, let's, let's be clear about that. And, and the truth is, if they did allow him to, to run again, he would lose, he would lose by 4 million votes. 4 million plus votes. Don't, don't listen to the bleeding of the sheep. Don't listen to that. The practicality of it is that the Zambian people have moved on. They have. And you must accept that. You will sleep better at night knowing that. But the third and last reason is because they know that this is a man that we can mold. This is a man that is, ma he's, he's, he's uh, um, what's the word? Malleable. That's the word. There you go. Malleable. There's nothing worse than a leader that can easily be manipulated. But ECL never spoke against Kadas. He knew the damage. He knew the horror. He knew the hell. He knew the detrimental acts, the demonic, diabolical, despicable acts that the PF Kadas used to met out to the public. He knew. But he couldn't say anything. You know why? Because he was easily manipulated. That's why. And then all of a sudden, now you have this new leader who comes up and he speaks very strongly against Qatarism and he says, no Qatarism. I mean, it was a shock to everybody. No Qatarism. Are you serious? Yes, no Qatarism. We are not going to stand by and watch innocent people die simply because of their political persuasion. We're not going to stand by while we see, while we see innocent women that are walking around with a particular color and they are beaten and bruised 
and, and, and victimized simply because they're wearing a different shirt. No, no, we're doing away with that. During ECL, that was non-existent. During ECL, the PF cutters were gods. There were gods with little G's. Gods with little G's. Not anymore. That ship has sailed. We're moving on to bigger and better things. No turning back, no turning back. No turning back. We're going forward. We're moving ahead. We're advancing. That's what we're doing as a people. We're advancing. And if you don't like it, well, you can jump through this. All right, a few comments, and then I'm going to bring it to a close. How many minutes? Uh, what is that? 25 minutes I've been on here. Yeah. I love the third reason. No, not bruised ego. Bruised ego. 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 E-G-O. Bruised ego. Not ego. Not Ichuni. Pride. Bruised pride. Okay. All right. You're very right. These people were, I think you mean hell, not heal. Okay. Hell, H E double L. Heal means to recover. Okay. Right. One more, and then I'll say bye bye. Here's, I like this one. Manipulation is a game the NPF were using on ECL for sure. Yes, and that's true. I saw it. I saw it. You know, they would say, no, he's humble, but you could but manipulate. Listen to this. This is, is I think some people of Zambia somehow, I think some people of Zambia somehow don't think well, because I don't think I can bring back Lungu. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, people just, they talk, but you know, you know how it is. Great. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, for tuning in. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.